today to talk about the new Lansdowne Live proposal. And you can see from this concept drawing, drawn on an aerial map, the size of the proposal. It is really quite large, but people tend to look at it on a basis of the Coliseum, the Horticultural Building, Frank Clare Stadium, and not putting it all together. Here, what we have is a concept. It's the first first uh, stage of a concept, but I think that it's one that has um, has legs, so to speak. It's something that we can work with, and we can improve with, and we can buy into it, and and and, and also. In I really like the horticultural building being moved over to the other side of the Aberdeen Pavilion because that's going to be a permanent year-round farmer's market. And you know, this kind of development in here where we have some commercial and we have a little bit of residential, and it really is small and as opposed to the size of the, of the facility. I like the investment in Frank Clair Stadium. You know, it's been years. A lot longer than Jan Harder has been in Ottawa. And I have deep roots, my grandparents, my grandfather, my parents, of course. All of us have that. Look at Bank Street now. Talk about someplace crying out for improvement. I think that this is going to be very nice. And, uh, and opening up the main entrance with that vista of the Aberdeen Pavilion right off the driveway, I think is brilliant. I like the docking right here. I think that you know, we need to be working on tourism. This is uh, going to be a tourism destination. This could be outdoor concerts. Over here, we have a, a small hotel of about six uh, stories or so. All of that being said, this is quite minimalist for the size of the property. And I don't find it intrusive to the community that is uh, surrounding it. If you look at some of the buildings along here, in fact, they are higher than the buildings that are proposed in the uh, landscape site. But if you talk about money, Right now, the city is investing up to $5 million a year in just maintaining it in its current very bad state. And what this is going to do is have people in our community who have grown up here, who have contributed multi millions of dollars to uh, the city of Ottawa, to universities, to the Cleveland Girl Hospital, the Bart Institute, the new Shankman Art Center. And you have any person who has taken the 60 so you put that kind of magic together, and this is something that is supposed to the people in this area out there doing all that they can, hiring traffic and hiring all kinds of business people in order to say there's nothing good about this. I'm saying all the rest of you get involved, have a look, and uh, have your say because these other people are going to be in every meeting from here until the vote is taken.